Hey y'all, I'm Carolina Tony. Today the road brings me to somewhere near Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I'm standing outside of the gates of McCain Correctional Institution. This place is very old. It is connected to a hospital that in the early 1900s was constructed as a sanitarium for tuberculosis patients. After the prison was built, it became a prison hospital. Today we are going to explore a little bit. We can't go behind the fence or any barriers because if you do, they will lock you up in a heartbeat. But we're going to learn a little history and you get to come with me. And we'll get started right after this station identification. In 1908, this hospital became the very first in North Carolina to be a tuberculosis sanatorium. It was an institution for the treatment of tuberculosis patients. There were several private ones all over the United States, but they were very expensive. This particular one would utilize a railroad to bring patients in to be dropped off right in front of the hospital. On April the 4th, 1908, they had a capacity of 32 patients. And a division for African Americans was established in 1923, and a division for prisoners in 1925, and a division for children in 1927. Eventually, the hospital grew to 650 beds. Those patients that couldn't afford to go to a private clinic were welcomed at the sanatorium's diagnostic clinic. But sometimes it would take nine to 10 months to get admitted into the hospital. Treatment lasted anywhere from six months to two years. Around 1948, at that time, this facility was renamed the McCain's hospital in honor of Dr. Paul P. McCain, who was served as superintendent and medical director from 1924 to 1926. In 1973, the state sanitarium became the McCain Hospital. In October of 1983, because tuberculosis was so rare, the facility was transferred to the Division of Prisons, where it served as a prison hospital. The McCain Correctional Hospital was officially closed in April of 2010.
Well, that is going to do it for our trip to the McCain Correctional Institution and Abandoned Hospital. Hope you've enjoyed this visit. If you did, be sure to give me a big old thumbs up. Be sure to share this video with your family and friends. And until next time, have a good day.